Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the DC transient response RC circuit solved problem 1. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. DC transient response of RC circuit resistance and capacitance. The first problem. First we will refer the circuit diagram. So this is a circuit diagram given. Supply voltage V. The switch is available and R1 is connected across the supply R and C connected in series resistor and capacitor connected in series R1 and R2 the problem is we need to find the time taken to reach the current to 25 milliampere from the supply initially some current will be there so the total current should reach us 25 milliampere for that we need to find what is the time taken by the supply voltage supply so we'll see the statement of the problem Find how long it takes after the key is closed before the total current from the supply reaches 25 milliampere. So our aim is to find the time taken to reach the current 25 milliampere from the supply. The supply voltage is 10 voltage, R1 value is 500 ohm, R2 value is 700 ohm and capacitor is 100 microfarad. So these are all the data given. So in this solution the I1 will take I1 is the current through the R1 because it is branch there. So two branches available. So total current I equal to I1 plus I2. I1 is the current through the resistor R1. R2 is the current through the capacitor after T seconds of closing the switch. Right. So the I1 we can easily calculate V by R1. V is given 10 voltage. R1 is 500 ampere. So it is 20 milliampere. So current flowing through the resistor R1, I1 is 20 milliampere. Now we will refer the diagram. We need to find the I2 value. So given that the total current is 25 milliampere. So by using Kirchhoff's current law, I equal to I1 plus I2. Here the total current that is divided into I1 and I2. Right. I2 what we need so that we will bring this term I1 that side so that I2 equal to I minus I1. I is 25 milliampere total current. I2 I1. Just now we calculated 20 milliampere. So it is I2 is 5 milliampere. So now we know the I1 value, I2 value. I1 is 20 milliampere. I2 is 5 milliampere. Right. So our aim is to find the time taken. So we, need, we will see the what is the alternate expression for transient current. So one more expression available for transient current I2 is nothing but I2 equal to I2 e power minus T divided by R2C. So this is nothing but a transient current of the RC circuit. The separate video available for analysis of RC circuit. In that we got this expression. So that is equal to I2 is nothing but V divided by R2 e power minus T divided by R2 into C. Now we will substitute the values I2 equal to V2 divided by R2 e power minus T R2 into C. So I2 is nothing but 5 milliampere. 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. Voltage is 10 voltage. R2 value is 700 milliampere. E power minus T divided by R2 700 ohm. C is 100 microfarad. 100 into 10 to the power minus 6. Now we can simplify. While simplifying what we got. 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 equal to 10 divided by 700 e power minus t by 0 0.007 while simplifying this 0 0.007. Now we will go for the further simplification. In order to find the time, the time taken t, here the e power is there. So we can take the log, we will we'll take the log on both the side with base e, log with base e will take on both the side right so it is before that it is simplified so this e power minus t by 0 0.07 this 7 10 divided by 700 is brought to this side so 700 divided by 10 so it is 0.37 equal to e power minus t by 0 0.07 right the term available here 10 divided by 700 is brought to this side now we can take the log on both the side because the T is available with E power. So we cannot uh, simplify this without taking the log. So log is taken on both the side. Log with base E. So log 0.35 equal to log of 
e power minus t by 0 0.007 with base e. So log 0 0.357 is minus 1.05. So e power is will come in the front side. So minus t by 0 0.007 log e with base e. Right. So this term so for example log e power minus x means it will come minus x into log power log e power. Right. So we can go for the further simplification minus 0 0.105 equal to minus t divided by 0 0.07 log e with base e is nothing but the value is 1. We know that log e with base e is the value is 1. Now we can go for further simplification right. t equal to minus 1.05 into divided by 0 0.007 so here it is not divided by uh, it is multiplied by 0 0.07 right so it is multiplied not divided so minus 1.05 into 0 0.07 equal to minus t by minus available on both the sides so 1.05 into 0 0.07 is 0 0.0735 so the uh, current t is 0 0.0735 seconds. So the time taken to reach the 25 milliampere is 0 0.0735 seconds. So in this video we discussed the RC circuit, DC transient response of RC circuit. We calculated the time taken to reach the 25 milliampere from the source. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.